Uh, Jer, what are you what are you doing? I'm just testing out the scope. What? Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Bald Guys with Guns. I'm Rob, and I'm Jeremy. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about something small, something you can conceal. Springfield XDS. This is my Springfield Armory XDS. The XD series was actually started back in 2001. In 2012, Springfield decided they wanted to release a smaller subcompact version of their XD. The XD is their extreme duty line. The XDS series is their single stack. The 45 ACP was the first model made back in 2012. In 2013, Springfield decided to release it in the 9mm caliber, which you see right here. The XDS series, it is for their single stack, and it's also the shortest barrel that they manufacture in a 3.3 inch barrel. Very small, single stack, makes it very nice. You've got seven rounds. This gun does come with an eight round mag that has the pinky extension on it. The nice feature about this, if you have small hands, it is less than an inch wide. For myself, it is just a little bit not enough girth. Now, the reason I bought this gun was more on a whim, you know? On a, what did you just say? On a whim. A, a what? A whim. You know, like a random sporadic act. Why are you saying it like that? Like what? Say what? What? Now say whim. Whim. Why are you emphasizing the H? Uh, there's, what, I, I don't understand. On a whim, right? Like, okay, I, I just, I'm gonna go with it and Got it on a Black Friday special for a very good price. It came with the three mags, two eight and a seven, a nice little carry case. I think this gun is crap, all right? It's very inaccurate and for a self-defense weapon, I understand there's a range that you would be in, but you wanna feel comfortable seven to 10 yards and it just doesn't deliver that punch. I have medium size, medium to small man size hands. Um, for anybody who has a decent size hand, this gun right here, it's going to be too small. It, it feels comfortable. It's, I'd like it to be a little bit thicker. My hands can fully wrap around it. There's just, there's not enough space for both hands on this pistol. But at the end of the day, it's the accuracy that really gets to me. And you'll see as we do our challenges throughout the day, just how poorly this gun performs. I got two eight round mags and right here is seven yards from this target. It's a reactive target so we should be able to see my hits and uh, we'll see how she does. I think uh, so I have smaller man hands than than Jer and uh, I think it feels comfortable. We'll see how it shoots. One mag down. So I started aiming at the center, hit a few on the left, and I aimed to the right, and they all went more center. So this thing is definitely not accurate from seven yards. That's a chest sized target. You can see I, I hit the target every time for seven yards. I'm all over the place. I had to aim over here and was hitting down and up, and this thing is just not accurate. All right, so we've told you a brief history about this gun, and we've told you our thoughts on it. We don't like how it shoots. His, for his hands, it's not very comfortable. For mine, it's comfy, but it's not accurate. But guess what? Doesn't matter, because it's competition time, baldies. For today's first stage of our competition, we're going to be doing a seven yard shot for the best grouping. To always make these more interesting, after our three competitions, best of three, winner of two, is going to be getting a free lunch at a burger place of their choice. Burger, you, you could eat like four burgers. <laughs> I gotta keep this father figure somehow. Okay, that's fine. Stage two of the competition, we're gonna back up to 10 yards with this gun that's very far. 
eight rounds, eight soda cans. Whoever hits the most soda cans wins that stage. Now for the fun one, stage three. We're gonna do the 8888 challenge. We're gonna sprint 88 yards. We're gonna drop down, do eight push-ups, followed up by eight shots for the best accuracy. So we're gonna wear ourselves out for you, and maybe one day we'll be in shape on this camera and try to get the best grouping after we wear ourselves out. Sounds fun. I like it. Who's ready? Let's begin. Rob doesn't know. I'm so much better than he is with this. That's because I've only shot it once. Let's go Baldies! Team J! All right, Team Rob, you guys ready? This will be easy. That's not good. All right, everybody. So far, it's not looking good for Team Rob. This is Jeremy's target. We got the measuring tape from dead center to out. To it out. Okay, dead center. We are four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Four That's and pretty good quarters. grouping with this gun. Very good. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, I know. Mine's awful. <laughs> Seven? Seven three quarters. Seven and three quarters. I just lost round one, everybody. I just lost. Let's go Team J. So, actually, let's pass it off to the loser so that he can have a chance to redeem himself. How does that sound? That sounds like you're kind of annoying. All right, we ready to win this round first? Does that count? Does that count? That's two and one? <laughs> no way! He's got to shoot it! Oh no, I missed it. Oh no! So I hit. I hit three out of four, one fell. Four. Shouldn't be that hard to beat. Three. He needs three or more. No problem. They didn't explode. That one didn't explode. I don't know if that counts. It has to. How many? How many have holes in them? This was yours. Yeah. 
One, two, three, four, five. We tied. Well, we tied. All right, so we're gonna run it back. I'm gonna go first to show them how we should do it. And uh, we're gonna just get this dub right now. What the heck, dude? Don't mind the other shooting in the background. We've got other people at the range today. Dude, that was horrible. One. He got one. Um, I'm not even going to put up an eighth one because all I have to do is hit two. So. Well, I got two, so this is why we don't like this gun. <laughs> exactly. This right here, you think you got it dialed in and you miss everything. Now for round three. Hey guys, okay, so listen. We're about to start the last stage. My plan is to just run faster than Jeremy and save time there because he's not as fast as me. One eighty-four for Rob. That is going to be a time to beat. Let's see if I got it in me. All right, so solid 57, second place. I fumbled too much with the gun at the start. Oh no, I had him in the foot race, just wasn't fast enough on that trigger. And now I get a burger. As you can see by our scoreboard, Team J, we, we were down three to one coming to the competition today. We came out strong, we came up, we were two to three, and then Rob has to come in, dominate two more competitions, Let's go! So we're down two to five. That's a, that's a bad way to start, but you know what? That just means we have a lot of room for improvement. But until next time, bodies, y'all take care. Have a great time. Later!